Hi everybody, this is part two of our Flash lesson. Uh, sorry it took so long to put it up, but here we go. So if you remember last time we left off where we had made three buttons on our page and we had had the animation, basic animation of the title and the introduction paragraph to our lesson animating in. So now the deal is, we've gotten this far, how are we going to make these buttons work? And how can we add information for our second and third pages? Well, the first thing we need to do is make more space, make more time, more keyframes so we can have more information. So that's exactly the first thing that we're going to do. We're going to insert uh, all the way into frame 27. We're going to extend the background. So I'm going to go down to the background layer here. I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to lock the layers I'm not using. So that way I just don't make a mess. I'm going to go over to frame 27, 26. 27 and I'm going to insert frame okay now what that does is it took the frame that was on 24 and it extended it 25 26 27 so all I'm doing is I'm making the background last longer so all I did was extend the background an extra couple frames so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, make a title for our second page so if you notice I've got three buttons home page one page two so home is this page so when I click on page one, or when eventually I make this button work, I want it to jump to a new page. So that's what we're going to make. We're going to make the title for the new page. So I'm going to go over to the title layer. I'm going to lock my background layer because that's done with. Unlock the title layer. Go into frame 25 on the title layer. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. Now uh, the reason I'm going to do that is just so that it's an empty frame and then that way I can grab my type tool and I'm gonna go ahead and click in here and go ahead and type in this is gonna be page one so obviously oops, uh -huh, page one this is where you would decide what page one is about maybe it has a specific title for your project or whatever page one is selected so I'm grabbing my selection tool and remember align we can use window align to make sure everything's nice and tidy so window align and I'm going to center that guy right there and that's looking pretty cool. I'm just going to go back and forth and make sure page one lesson title. That makes sense. Yeah, they're all lined up on the same line. That looks great. So page one is ready. That's the new title for page one. Well, you can kind of guess what I'm going to do next probably is I'm going to go ahead and make um, another scene for page two. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the title layer in the next frame. And I'm going to right click in this case I can do um, insert keyframe because it copies the information from the last frame, right? Page one over to page two. And all I'm going to do in page two is grab my type tool and just change it over to page two. Okay, so now, so far what we have is everything we had from before, but now if you go to frame 25, you've got a page one. If you go to frame 26, you've got a page two. Okay, so in a second, we're going to start to add more information to make this even more unique. So I'm going to go ahead and lock the title later now, title, layer, excuse me, I'm going to unlock the text area layer. And I'm going to basically repeat those steps. I'm going to go to frame 25 for the text area, right click, insert a blank keyframe, so I start fresh, grab my type tool, and then I'm going to click and drag because I'm going to write some text. And this is, this is where the information for page one goes. So of course that's up to you, whatever information you're using. All right, and I'm going to make this font 25 so it matches the rest of the pages and then I'm gonna bring it down and while I'm at it I'm also gonna align it to the left okay so now that I have that information so this is what page one is gonna look like it says page one and has the information for page one so I can cheat again here go right click on the next keyframe and do an insert keyframe so it just copies the text box over and I'm going to write, this is where the information for page two goes. This is a new page. Okay, and I'm just making them different so like later on we'll be able to understand that we have two different pages, page one and page two. You'll notice that I'm keeping it ordered this way where I have a text area, a title, I'm uh, separating the two. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock that. The next thing that we're going to do is make the buttons work. Okay. So I'm going to go back a couple pages, or I should say keyframes, go back to my button layers. So to make the buttons work, we have to use behaviors. Now the reason we're using behaviors is, as you notice, 
Um, we wrote this in ActionScript 2.0. I started out this lesson ActionScript 2.0 in our first lesson because ActionScript 2.0 tends to be a little bit easier to use, um, especially for new users to Flash. Some of you out there are probably thinking, why are you using 2.0? It's outdated. and You're kind of right, but the cool thing is that ActionScript 2.0 is still totally usable and it's easy, so that's why we're doing it. Anyway, so I'm going to grab my uh, selection tool, unlock the button layer, and here are the button layers, right? So I'm going to click on the home button. Now when I click on the home button, I can um, add information to make the home button actually go somewhere. This is where we have to insert a behavior. I'm going to make sure that the home button is selected, and then I'm going to go up to window, and I'm going to go down to behaviors. Now the behavior that I'm asking it to do, and this is where, you know, don't get, don't get confused, it's, it's kind of easy, you just got to look at the little symbols there. It's saying, this little finger's telling you, like, when you press on the home button, what do you want to happen? Well, I want it to go to a certain place. I want it to go to, and I want it to stop at a certain frame or label. So that's why I'm clicking on this little button, clicking down here, going to movie clip, and I want, whenever I press home, I want it to go to and play, or go to and stop. Now, if I let it go to and play, what that means is it'll go to whatever frame I, I tell it to go to, and if there are scenes to play, it will play all the scenes. If I want it just to stop somewhere, I can just have it stop at a certain frame. Let's try the stop, and let's do that. So I'm going to click on go to stop at frame or label. Okay, and then it's going to say, okay, go to and stop, and it's saying, where do you want me to stop when you press on home? Well, if you take a look at our um, project here, I want it to stop on frame 24, because if you remember, frame 24 is where our home page ended, right? This is where we're looking at. So I want you to be able to press on home and basically just come back to the same place. It's not very exciting yet because, well, you're already there, but you'll see in a second. So I'm going to tell it to stop on frame 24, so I'm typing that in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and press OK. So that's cool. That's actually done. That means that button's going to work now. Let's go ahead and click on page 1 now. And we want to add an action to this. So for page 1, I'm going to click down on that as well. I'm going to go to Movie Clip, go to and stop. Now where do I want this one to stop? Well. If you remember a second ago, we made all the information for page 1 on frame 25, right? So I'm going to write 25 in there. Then I'm going to click on page 2, and I'm going to do the same thing. Movie clip, go to and stop, and I'm going to add page, or excuse me, not page, but frame 26 right there, and press OK. So now those buttons all work. How am I going to test this? What's going to happen? Is it working? I don't know. Let's test it. First of all, let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to save it with a different name. This is always a good thing, right? You should always save your files with different names as you go in case you make a big mistake. You don't lose all your hard work. So I'm going to call this Flash Project Buttons Working, just so I remember what I'm doing here. And go ahead and save it. And then let's test it. Remember, Control, Test Movie, and you can test it. So let's test it. It's going to open up. Now, if you get this little testing window up here, this is just a kind of a inspector of all the details that are happening with your file. That's not actually what you're going to see on the web when you post this. So I'm just going to close this for now. But here's my page, right? Look what happens when I click on home. I stay home. That makes sense because that's what I told it to do. I told it to stay on frame 24 when I clicked on home. When I click on page 1, huh, look at that. I go to page 1. That's awesome. But uh-oh, there's a big problem here. We didn't put any buttons on page 1, so now we're stuck. We've got nowhere to go, so we're going to quickly fix that. What we're going to do is copy the button information, because if you notice, this layer now has all this button information on it, right? This layer that we just started to modify, this is where I added all this button information. You'll notice as I click on the buttons, while I'm on this specific frame in this specific layer, as I click, you'll see the behaviors get updated as I go. See that? Very cool. So what I'm going to do then is go into the next frame on my buttons layer, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to insert a keyframe, because that's going to copy all that information over. Easy. I'm basically just cheating here, just copying and copying. I'm going to do the same thing on the next frame. Right click, insert keyframe. Remember, insert keyframe copies everything from the last one over. So that means the buttons now should be on all the new pages, and they all should work. I'm going to click away from these for a second. And let's do another control test movie and see if we're doing okay. I have to save. 
So I'm going to do a quick file save. So it updates all my changes. And I'll do a control test movie test. Okay, I'm going to close up this little browser. Let's see. Drum roll. Home. We say home. Page one. We go to page one. Page two. We go to page two. And look at that. If I go back to page one, I go back to page one. If I go back to home, I go back home. Now this is obviously a really basic introduction into making multiple pages and interactivity, but this is kind of, you know, so I'm opening up that can of worms. Now you can really try to do tons of stuff because you can make multiple pages. You could have more animations like we had here in our intro, right? You could have made this animation also be part of the other pages. I've simplified it just for the sake of time and so you guys can just get the basics. But you can just keep going. Remember, all we had to do was make a button, then click on the button, and go into behaviors and give it a behavior. That was basically it. And that should cover most of what you need to know to get your, your Flash app off and running. I know it's the basics, but you can do a lot with this. And I hope this helps everybody. I'm going to keep putting up more videos as we go. I'm currently in grad school, so I'm a little swamped, but I'm going to keep it up. Please comment. Please subscribe. Let me know what you need, and I will do my best to help you out. And this is Santos. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.